handle this uncertainty, AI relies on probability and make predictions. Probabilistic reasoning helps AI quantify and manage uncertainty and enabling it to make the best possible decisions even with the incomplete or noisy data. Hi everyone and welcome to the Being Passionate Learner. I'm Dr. Padmapani Tribhuvan. Today we are diving into an exciting topic in artificial intelligence, probabilistic reasoning. If you have ever wondered how AI systems make decisions under uncertainty or how tools like medical diagnosis apps or recommendation systems predict outcome, then this video is for you. By the end of this video, you will understand the basics of probabilistic reasoning, how Bayesian networks work, and why probabilistic reasoning is crucial in artificial intelligence. So let's get started. Contents. Here is what we will cover in this video. Why probabilistic reasoning is essential for AI. A quick overview of key probability concepts. An introduction to Bayesian networks and real-world applications of probabilistic reasoning. Let's start with why. Why probabilistic reasoning? An AI system as amazing as they are, but they face a big challenge, which is uncertainty. These uncertainties in AI system arises due to incomplete information, noise in data, and ambiguity in interpretation. The solution for this challenge is probabilistic reasoning. Probability offers a mathematical way to model uncertainty and make predictions. Now let's take one example. Think about a medical diagnosis app. The app might need to predict whether you have a disease based on symptoms like fever or cough. But it doesn't know for sure if the symptoms are caused by the disease or something else. And this is where uncertainty comes in. To handle this uncertainty, AI relies on probability and make predictions. Probabilistic reasoning helps AI quantify and manage uncertainty and enabling it to make the best possible decisions even with the incomplete or noisy data. Imagine being able to say there is 70% chance you have the flu. That's a probabilistic reasoning in action. Now let's refresh some basic probability concepts that form the backbone of probabilistic reasoning. Let's start with what is probability. Probability is a measure of how likely an event is occur and it is denoted by probability of A. There are some key rules of probability. The first rule is sum rule. The sum rule helps us calculate the probability of at least one event happening like heads or tails. It is written as probability of A or B is equals to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A and B. The product rule calculates the probability of two events happening together like rolling a 6 on one die and a 4 on another. It is written as probability of A and B is equals to probability of A given B into probability of B. And finally, we have Bayes' theorem. This is the star of probabilistic reasoning. It allows us to update our beliefs when new evidence comes in. Bayes' theorem says probability of A given B is equals to probability of B given A into probability of A divided by probability of B. Now let's take a closer look at Bayes' theorem. Probability of A given B is the probability of A happening given B is true. This is what we want to calculate. Probability of B given A is likelihood of a B assuming A is true. Probability of A is the prior probability or how much we believe in A before considering the evidence. Probability of B is the probability of the evidence itself. For example, imagine you are trying to figure out if you are sick. You can consider A as having a flu and B as having a fever. Bayes' theorem allows us to calculate the updated probability of the flu given the evidence of fever. Bayesian networks. 
To organize and compute probabilities efficiently, we use Bayesian networks. A Bayesian network is a graphical model where nodes represent random variables like symptoms or diseases and ages represent dependencies between variables. For example, in a medical diagnosis system, a disease like the flu might cause symptoms like fever and cough. A Bayesian network models these relationships and uses conditional probabilities to compute how likely a disease is given observed symptoms. One big advantage of Bayesian networks is that they are compact. Instead of storing every possible combination of variables, we only store relationships between directly connected variables and this makes them efficient for large scale problems. Here is an example of a Bayesian network for disease diagnosis. Suppose we have three variables, this is D, fever F, cough C. These variables are represented as a nodes in a Bayesian network. The disease variable D influences the symptoms fever F and cough C. So we will use ages to represent dependencies between variables and conditional probability will be probability of F given D, probability of a C given D and probability of D. Using this network, we can compute probabilities, probability of a D given F and C, determining the likelihood of a disease given observed symptoms. Probabilistic inference. Probabilistic inference involves calculating the posterior probabilities of variables given observed evidence. Exact methods like variable elimination are used when computation is feasible. For complex networks, approximate methods like Monte Carlo simulations come into play. Applications of probabilistic reasoning Probabilistic reasoning is not just theory. It powers many AI applications. In medical diagnosis, it predicts diseases based on symptoms. In speech recognition, it helps AI understand words despite noisy inputs. Autonomous systems like self-driving cars use probabilistic reasoning to make safe decisions in uncertain environments. And finally, recommendation systems use it to predict what you might like to watch, read, or buy. So whether it's Netflix recommending you a next worthy show or an AI assisting doctors, Probabilistic reasoning is everywhere. To wrap up, here are the key takeaways. Probabilistic reasoning is crucial for AI to deal with uncertainty. Bayes' theorem helps AI update its beliefs with new evidence. Bayesian networks are powerful tools for modeling and reasoning. And finally, probabilistic reasoning drives AI in the fields like medicine, robotics, and recommendation systems. I hope this gave you a clear introduction to probabilistic reasoning and its importance in AI. To prepare this presentation, the book by Stuart Russell and Peter Norvig is referred. The book name is Artificial Intelligence, A Modern Approach. If you want to dive into more details, you can refer this book. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more such contents. If there is a topic you would like me to cover next, then let me know in comments below. See you in my next video. Till then, being passionate learner, keep learning. Thank you.